this is David Bergman. And it's a pretty confusing field out there with new eco-labels and certifications coming online all the time. And I want to just quickly walk us through the different levels of certification so you can know which ones are more useful to you than others. And I have it divided up into two types here. On the left column, you'll see there is first party, second, third party, and then report card types of certifications. First party would be something like the recycling symbol, wouldn't that? Nobody owns the recycling symbol. Nobody certifies it. Um, when you see it there, it's basically because the manufacturer says, yes, we, we recycle or it's recyclable. Nobody's looking over their shoulders. A little bit stronger type of label would be what we're calling a second party label in which standards have been set up by usually by a trade organization. Now we still have a little bit of a uh, uh, interest complication here because the trade organization of course is interested in, in promoting its manufacturer members and so they may not be establishing the standards for the label in as uh, exacting a way as we as environmentalists would like it to be. That happens more uh, usually in the next category of the third party or independent uh, certifiers. And the example I'm showing here, by the way, the example above the second party, the CRI is the Carpet and Rug Institute. Uh, the example for the third party is the Forest Stewardship Council. And that's often regarded as the quintessential example of a third party uh, certification in that they are completely separate from the industry and they also have a very strict system involving something called chain of custody in which the wood is basically tracked through all stages of its life from the forest uh, to your building. Now that's expensive to do and the cost has been prohibitive, especially for some smaller companies. Uh, you know, if a cabinet shop has to be chain of custody certified, it costs a lot of money. And so an alternative certification within the industry, a second party certification arose called SFI, Sustainable Forestry Institute. And that's been very controversial. Those of you who are following how LEED works will know this. And without getting into the details of it, the question has been how independent is the SFI label? Is it a second party or a third party label? And how much should we value it as opposed to the FSC? The report card label is a different kind. It's more like our food nutrition labels in that it's basically giving you the information and letting you make the decisions. If, for instance, there's uh, this is showing scientific certification systems, SSC certified, 100% recycled content. Well, obviously that's good, but it, let's say it was 75% recycled content. It's not saying it's meeting any standard, it's just giving you that information. On the bottom, we have a wholly different type, which are user-based or consensus-based ratings that are, you know, very much like if you go onto Amazon and read the reviews of a book or go into ePinions and read the reviews of some electronics. Well, Rated Green and there's some other uh, systems like this out there, some other websites like that out there, are based on us using the materials and the products and then going to the site and putting in our opinions, how well it worked for us or how badly it worked for us, so that we can all glean information from that. Now all the labels I showed on the left are single attribute, meaning they all focus on one specific environmental impact. Recycling is just recycling. FSC is looking at wood stewardship. Uh, Carpet and Rug Institute is looking at off-gassing. There are labels within each of the first and second and third party and report card categories that look at multiple attributes. In other words, they're looking at broader environmental impact. And it can be something very vague and, and uncertifiable, like a term environmentally friendly. What does that mean? Well, in theory, it means it's friendly on many levels, but uh, it's a first party claim. Uh, no one says it is or isn't, other than the provider. If we want to we'll look at a second party trade organization, a good example is the Kitchen Cabinet Manufacturers Association, which rates, uh, provides a certification for cabinetry on several different levels in terms of sourcing of the wood, uh, off-gassing of the materials, whether it contains formaldehyde and VOCs, etc. So it's, it's, a, it's a broader category. And broader still would be, and third party, would be something like the C2C, the Cradle to Cradle Certification System, um, which if you are familiar with the LEED, uses criteria very similar to LEED and a rating system very similar to LEED, looking at all kinds of environmental and uh, human health impacts. And thank you for attending this Design Arts Seminar.